Hello everyone. This is Geetha Priya from RMD Engineering College. In this lecture, we will be seeing about feature manipulation. So, feature manipulation. Manipulation in sense, you are going to uh, edit or uh, update something. It may be you are going to add up something or you, it may be you will be removing something from the original data. So that is manipulation. So, feature manipulation in sense, uh, in the available feature data, you can be adding up some more, some other feature type or some other features or you may be removing the unwanted feature from the existing feature so this is the thing you are going to do in a feature uh, manipulation tool uh, in a geographical information uh, in a geospatial data so if you are working on two different feature layer uh, make sure that both the feature layer features are uh, in the same coordinates so uh, uh, similar to a overlay in overlay you are going to come into a more uh, uh, feature data both the feature uh, type should be represented or should be existing in a same coordinate system so similarly if you are applying a feature manipulation or you are applying some feature manipulation tools there both the feature types or feature layers should be existing in a same coordinate system so these are the uh, tools available in feature manipulation so that is dissolve clip append select update erase and split so dissolve to represent the dissolve uh, with the best example uh, so here you can see this is the input coverage the already existing uh, feature data is represented as input coverage here then this is the output coverage so in dissolve you are going to dissolve the boundary of same feature type so in this example you can see the green area represent the same feature area or same feature type so you don't want to have any uh, dividing boundaries there to make uh, so if you are having a map google map similar to this means it will be more complicated for the user to use that application so to uh, to make the complex uh, application or complex data to a much uh, simpler one you are going to use a dissolve tool here so dissolve tool will be removing the boundary that are uh, with the same feature type so in this example all the green uh, color represents the same feature so the boundaries of the green color has been removed and also in the purple shades also uh, the boundary has been removed and the same in the blue region also two boundaries are there to divide the same feature type so it has been removed using a dissolve tool so this is how a dissolve tool will be working the next one is clip so if you are having a feature data already but you want to uh, take a particular feature data for your application so you can you go for a clip tool so the clip tool will be used for clipping a particular area of a feature type and the particular area will be represented in the output the next tool is append append is nothing but it is going to add up your detail so already with the already existing data you are going to add some more data together so data set is one data set one is already existing feature along with that feature you are going to append data set two so it will make a data set two but the feature of both data set one and data set two will be combined together the next one is select tool select tool is similar to a clip clip but here whatever the data you are going to have in, in a clip in sense the particular uh, round format or particular clip format will be there in that particular clip format you are going to take up the particular area but coming to the select tool the select tool will be used for selecting the particular region that is user defined query expression whatever the area or region that is necessary for a user to clip around or you are going to select that the user will be defining the area to be selected so user will be selecting the area and that particular area will be clipped away from the data uh, existing feature and will be given as an output so the next one is update update is also similar to append but append as it is it will be appended but update in sense at which particular area you are going to copy uh, paste it suppose uh, two feature type you are having from feature type 1 I am going to take a particular data that is similar to cut copy paste means uh, the feature type uh, in feature layer 1 I am going to cut some particular area and I am going to merge it in the uh, input feature type 2 so 
in the input you can see the blue area is the already existing data and the yellow region is the uh, new data that you are going to update on the existing data so your output will be all the two data will be combined together and it will be set as an output data the next one is arrays arrays is similar to clipping so in clip you are going to give a particular clip format the particular region is going to be uh, displayed in the output but clip uh, but in arrays the same uh, uh, particular format will be given like a, a circle or something so if you are going to keep the particular arrays tool in a particular feature type that particular region will be removed from the existing data so the output will be the removed uh, except the removed region the other area will be given in the output so arrays is a uh, base uh, for removing the unwanted uh, region from the feature type so the next one is split tool split tool is used for dividing the input layer so this is your input this is the actual input but if you want to divide this region you can go for a split tool the split tool will be dividing everything in a uh, equal format with a continuous thing so if you are going to merge this data also for future if you are going to merge this four data it will be giving a continuous feature type so split is used for dividing the input region into number of different regions so these are the different feature manipulation tools so there is dissolve clip append select update and erase and split thank you